Today I'm just going to talk about the woe situation that's happening with Mr. Beast. So first off, for the people that don't know, Mr. Beast is a channel that creates video. It has a lot of reach, a lot of views, and it's spread everywhere. Everywhere. Everybody has watched or heard of him. He donates money to people. Then the money that he gets back, he uses it for philanthropy to create burgers, help poor people. So it has a very good message. And the channel always avoided political stuff. Literally. They don't do that because they're like, I don't want to choose side. I just want to make everybody happy. But then I saw this. Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my freaking friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. And I know if you're talking about the word T, <laughs> uh -uh, you're going to have to pick a side. Because guess what? If you don't, you're going to be seen as that T. And then I don't think YouTube is going to be very happy with you. This is a guy that had a wife, married, had a kid, everything was Gucci and beautiful. And suddenly he started taking HRT because he wants to feel more feminine. Is it a day, he, she? That isn't the problem. I don't care about that because you can just do your thing in your private life. What I find interesting and surprising though is when you're talking about your kid talker in a special way, dressed in a specific way, as if my son is wearing heels and this is kind of cool. And I'm like, is that the message that you want to send out there? Is that something that you want to normalize? Especially when you have such a huge platform and majority of people have a responsibility how impressionable they're going to be? It's never too late to start being yourself. I totally agree. Because YouTube is clearly ready to be like, you're glowing. And Mr. Beast is ready to say, come on, YouTube W. Even Mr. Beast is asking people, what is your age? And a lot of people are saying, yeah, my age is between 10 and 20. Which is the most vulnerable age when people have dysphoria and all these transitioning things. That is where I have something against them. Because the research the information and the things that you have out there how kids are motivated to go in a specific direction it's very one-sided because if you want to broaden the option or trying to find out why you want to do that why you want to explore that is there some trauma behind it the fact that you want to think like that you're already a trans boom you know they're already like, yo, 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 you might be an evil person. I'm like, no, I don't mean that. I just don't want you to put something in your body so easily because it can be freaking permanent. Ed Grayson was defending Mr. Beast, blaming it that Republican is just copying cancel culture in a specific way. But then he said, Republicans have taken cancel culture and freedom to a whole new level of hypocrisy. Who the hell cares if Chris Tyson is receiving gender affirming care? Stay out of other people's lives, you bigots. He's a good person regardless of how he identifies. I don't think they care about how he identifies. I think they care about that they're doing this on a channel that normalizes this when I promote kids to be happy with the body they are born with. So if you want to promote that you can change whatever you can because happiness is on the outside and I believe it's on the inside. Yes, there is a different view of finding purpose in life especially when certain people don't even have the money to do that or they need taxpayers to fund them and it's like yo do you even understand what you're telling and normalizing in front of kids there's no way i would agree with this to teach my kids something normal like that or let my kids look at a person that thinks that this is normal it makes no sense to me that doesn't mean I'm a Republican. I just want my kids to be happy with the body they are born with. From a one-eyed person, trust me, it's a hard pill to swallow. But it was the best pill that I had to swallow that if I don't have an eye, I need to find a way to be happy. And it feels great. Because now, whenever something bad happens into my body, I know how to go forward because I cannot change everything in my life because I can't control it. It's so important to learn this. But this is not teaching kids that. That is what I see with one eye. And then it gets a little aggressive. I did also hate seeing the hate from me turn into just general transphobia, so I'm trying to make it known. Make fun of me all you want, but mess with the trans homies and well, bam, 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 bam. I don't know why you would say that. The last thing we need right now is a little, little more Nashville vibe, don't you think? 
And look at them right here. They did an opening uh, thousand mystery art boxes, which is kind of cool. But as you can see from the thumbs down on this channel of Mr. Beast 2, they have a humongous amount of dislike. Now, everybody is looking into all the weird stuff happening in the past, which I don't like. I don't like to look for old tweets. But if it has something related with kids, it, 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 it calls my attention. Especially when you have a tweet that you says, this woohoo looks like a good four-year-old. And I'm like, wait, why would you delete that tweet? Nothing gets my knob and cracking like some lolly. Now, imagine if all of that is alleged, okay? Maybe somebody faked it. Maybe. I hope it is fake. I really hope. Because if that is true and you were wondering, hey, what is lolly? Well, that's like feeling attracted to animation, anime, like, you know, Japanese cartoons or something like that. But with very little kids woman or whatever that does it in a very sensual way then i'm like hmm that's wrong mr beast sidekick posted artwork from this great artist known for animated hoo hoo prawn and i hope that is not true there are mr beast boys and children i doubt he cares if he takes a hit he definitely does care and if the hit is too big he definitely will cut them off and i i wouldn't even be mad about that why because the level of a liability you don't know how much it's going to be until it actually gets there. And making things like, guys, this is a friend, I can't drop him. Bro, what if it becomes an absolute nightmare? You don't know what's gonna, what can happen. Don't make something that, you, that you're going to get away from. So if somebody that actually understands the business, a big streamer, says that, I will take his opinion in consideration. He might be wrong. Who knows? But then again, it's kind of ironic that the same person back in the day was making fun of the LGBTQ. Alright, time to see if they've updated the gender list. They have 63 genders up there, but they can't have my gender? Bro, what are you doing? Bro? Did, did you just assume my gender? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to misgender you. I'm... You're such a hellophobe. Get out! I sexually identify as an attack helicopter. Ever since I was a boy, I dreamed of soaring over the oil fields, dropping hot, sticky loads on disgusting foreign. Oh, it is to me. I am Mr. Beast. We are like a legion. We are one. We are many. So the thing that he just mentioned is a Bible text about a demon saying that there are many demons in this body and I'm super powerful and we can work gangster together and there's nothing you can do about it. The fact that you mentioned that quote as a person that just transitioned on a live stream, it does gives me the vibe that you want to just send a message. We are many. You cannot see us and you're going to have a hard time removing me in this body that I have possessed. It's a very indirect weird message. That does makes me worry that you have a more sinister plan, but you're trying to hide it as, as if I'm just happy. I'm taking HRT. You don't know what is HRT. You're just projecting something very negative. I do find it weird that all of this is happening at the same time when they get promoted also on Nickelodeon, which is a weird, uniquely children A channel that usually promotes stuff to kids between 10 and 20. I don't know. In, the timing is interesting. I wish Mr. Beast good luck. Because I know he might be just standing up for a friend. But there comes a point, even if you don't want to, you have to make a choice. W for YouTube? Cool. I guess maybe you already made that choice because you think it's not going to affect you at all. Cool. Good luck with them. Me, 